What's going on guys? Today, I wanna talk about why should you start a business? And what I'm gonna do is go way, way back in time and discuss what happened to me. My first attempt to start a business, I was in the military and I wasn't making enough money to do the things that I wanted to do. I was 19, 20 years old the first time I tried to start a business. And we're gonna talk about the why I wanted to start a business and what led me to that point in time. Let's take a few steps back. I grew up the product of a single mother I didn't have a father in the home. Now, there's something a little strange with that. My mother was like my father and my grandmother was like my mother. So I never had to go to daycare or anything like that because I had a stay at home parent in terms of my grandmother. And she taught me how to read, how to write before I even went to school. And this is something that's funny. I have a few learning disabilities. But because my grandmother worked with me so well, none of these learning disabilities ever became a problem in my life because I was able to actually get around them and work the system to the best of the ability. I was a really good test taker in school. California Achievement Test, uh, some other tests, and I did really well on those. But Growing up, I didn't understand that we were poor until middle school. And I'm gonna to explain to you why I didn't understand that we were poor. Everyone in the neighborhood was pretty much at the same level. We didn't have someone living in a big house and it was pretty much congruent throughout. The and once I got to middle school and we entered into the middle school, I started to see kids coming from a wealthier background and it became apparent that I was really poor and all of this factors into you wanting to start a business and you wanting to do better I grew up in that situation and then when I was in high school I got into the army's delayed entry program so I knew I was going in the army well over a year in advance that I was going so I joined the military I go through basic training at Fort Dix. I go through my 91 Alpha, my training at Fort Sam Houston. I was a 92 Bravo, I believe, it's been so long. And then I went to Hawaii for three years. And then I came here to Atlanta, Fort McPherson. And this is where the concept the thought process of me starting a business begins. And one of the things that I really didn't understand, because, and this is something where I feel that many of you will be in the same spot. You want to start a business, but you don't know what kind of business to start. You want to make more money in any way legal, you're down to do whatever you need to do. And that's, a foundational social part of the structure. However, it is clearly not enough because those first five businesses I started, they all failed because I didn't know what I was doing. I had no clue. And this was in the 80s, late 80s, and going into the 90s. And one of the things that you guys have to contend with is there are so many ways to make money today. It's mind blowing. There are so many ways that you can start making money without a traditional job. It's literally staggering. And this is one of the biggest challenges you will face as an individual. What kind of business will I start? What kind of way will I make money? And I'm going to explain some stuff in this video. Like the first few businesses I tried, they didn't do because I didn't know what I was doing. And then I went on an eight year run and then I got into business 
And I found out that when you know what you're doing, it gets a lot easier. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about some things that I have recently experienced. The most recent was I've had a YouTube network. I had a YouTube channel network and I made a few critical errors that got me an audience that I wasn't particularly happy with. And this is the most recent thing. And this is the reason you're seeing this. This is a brand new channel. This is a brand new content drop because here's the thing. And I want you guys to listen to me. You got a business that's making a lot of money, but if you don't like your customer base, you don't like the business, you don't like the process, this will drive you nuts. This will drive you crazy. And I finally got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore. So I literally reset the channels and I started new YouTube channels because being happy and enjoying what you're doing is a very critical part to long-term success. And I had just reached that point where I just couldn't do it anymore. And this has happened on YouTube before. That's the most recent thing. We will go back to 2014. I had a similar thought process. I started with YouTube selling the resale book. And I just became, this was 2009, 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13. So I had been doing it for a minute and I just became very unhappy with the audience that I had, the responses that I was getting, the people that I was dealing with, I was dealing with. I was just like, this isn't going to work. And one of the things that I did was I decided that I was going to do something different because this is one of the things. I feel it is personal misery to stay with a business that you're not happy, that it's just, it's just horrible. It was really terrible. This is one of the things I have learned. During that time period, I just kept on with the same YouTube channel. Critical mistake number one. Knowing what I know now, I would have started a new YouTube channel at that point. Knowing what I know now, I would have spared myself a lot of the silliness, a lot of the drama that happened because I've been on YouTube since 2009 and I've learned a lot. And YouTube is constantly going through a metamorphosis. It's always changing. The that worked last year, it may be a little different next year. So one of the things that I've come to understand is, and this is YouTube knowledge, if you're having multiple YouTube channels, you do not want to let your current audience know about your new YouTube channels. Let me explain to you why. What's gonna happen is there's gonna be this big push of an audience to your new YouTube channel. And the YouTube algorithm is gonna say, oh, these are the kind of people that likes this content. And the YouTube algorithm is gonna go out and find more of those same type of people, which can be extremely problematic if you want to grow your YouTube channel and be extremely. And this is something that I have known for a long time. And it just got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore. It just got to the point where I was like, okay, because here's the thing. There are really good audiences on YouTube. There are people who want the truth, who want honest, accurate information. They don't want to be lied to. They don't want to be fluffed up. And there's another audience on YouTube that wants to be lied to, that wants to be fluffed up, that wants to be entertained. It's really crazy. But essentially, the reason I started this YouTube channel is I wanted to get to that audience of real relevant people who will take action on honest, reliable. And one of the things that I had going on with that old channel was I had a lot of foolishness. I had a lot of craziness because I had so many people who were driven by ego and drama that they don't want to actually sit down and learn from someone who's done better than it, it was really a crazy situation. I'm just telling you what can happen if you build a business and things change and you just don't like it. I would, I am 
56 years old. I'll be 57 this October. I'm at an age where I have to do things that I enjoy. If I don't enjoy it, I'm not going to do it. And this is the reason that this new YouTube channel exists. And this is one of the reasons that I am getting ready to start talking about how to build a business. But the thing is, we need to talk about what should you do before you start building that business. That is extremely critical and powerful insights because here's the thing. And let's go ahead and talk about starting to go to the gym and building a business. When you go to the gym, you automatically know that you cannot lift as much as people who've been in the gym for two, three, four, five years. You automatically know this. So what you do is you go in the gym, you start lifting what you can lift, and each week you add up more and more. The same thing is with a business. In the beginning, there's things you have to do to, to prep yourself. You have to do to put yourself in a position where you understand what you're getting yourself into because one of, the, one of the things that I find to be challenging for you guys is there are so many business models out there. There are so many ways to make money, but everyone is looking for that business that suits them, that makes them money that they enjoy without going through the process of exploring what's in the marketplace. There are people out there who are making millions of dollars selling socks. There are people out there who are making millions of dollars of selling collectibles. It, it really depends upon who you are and what you like and how you're set up. Because there, there's so many ways to make money, but everyone wants to get into what I like to call are template businesses. These are highly hyped businesses. They have a lot of YouTube content. They have a lot of TikTok content. They have a lot of Instagram content that will beat you over the head that if you're going to do business, you need to do this type of business or otherwise. You're and one of the things that happens, and this is something else, since I've been on YouTube since 2009, I have noticed that there are a lot of business content YouTube videos that don't get major views such as an Airbnb or Toro or Amazon FBA or drop shipping. They don't get that type of views because those business models are not pushed as much as the main template business models. And one of the things that you want to do for yourself is figure out who you are. And that's going to be, for some of you, that's going to be a very big task because once again, I am 56 years old. I grew up in America that was vastly different than the current America that we live in. I grew up where reading was a popular pastime. I grew up where people had hobbies. I grew up when people would go to visit people. It was a very different time in America, which gave me my foundational underbringing, my foundational, why I look at business with such a different mindset appeal and approach and right now you have so many people who are like what kind of business should i start and i have some advice for you let's say you're a person that doesn't have any hobbies you don't have a lot of friends and you don't really go out that much i need to tell you some painful truth it's going to be extremely hard for you to figure out what kind of business that works for you because you have not really built a life. I know that's very sad, that's tragic to hear because you're just kind of living on the edge of life and you have not built a life. You've not built any foundational stuff. So for you, it's gonna be hard and this would be my advice for you if you're in that category. Number one, try as much stuff as you can. Join blogs, join membership sites, just really look at what works for you. Because I will tell you, and I'm not going to go into too much of this on this channel. If you want to look, you just put my name in the YouTube algorithm and you'll find a ton of videos talking about this stuff. But one of the things that I found when I was in the storage auction business was a very keen and compassionate 
relationship with certain sexual practices that I still practice to this day. It works for me because it was very much part of my makeup. And when you're out there looking for what you should do in terms of a business, you're gonna find something and I'm gonna to explain to you what's gonna happen because you're gonna to have to go out there and you're gonna to to try this and try that, and try this and try that. And then one day you're gonna hook up to something, whatever that may be for you, because for each one of us, it's going to be different. It's gonna be very different. And one of the things that you would want to do is to guide yourself in a position where you're gonna open yourself up to this new thing. And it's gonna feel so good. It's gonna feel so comfortable. It's gonna be like, where was this my whole life? That's how it's gonna feel when you find the thing that works for you. And it could be radically different than the things that's working for your other friends or people you may know, because once again, the world is completely different. There's literally a million and one ways for you to make money with a, and part of that situation is you should compel yourself to be available to expose yourself to that new thing because once again for some of you this is going to be extremely stressful for some of you you already have an ideal and it's going to be a challenge for you to figure out what business should you start because there are these boss chicks these women with businesses and one of them put up a video on youtube talking about she was happier when she was broke and living in a two bedroom apartment. And I heard that message. And the thing I got from that message was she was doing a business that she wasn't thrilled with. I want you to think about this. You've got this multi-million dollar business that's bringing in several hundred thousand to even millions into your personal pockets every year. And you hate that business. That's really rough. That's really rough. So what I want you to do is watch this video three, four, five times. And I want you to take notes because here's the thing. And this is another issue that we have in the current environment. People have brutally short attention spans. And here's something that you're not going to want to hear, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. For you to get good at something, you're going to have to work at it. You're going to have to labor on it. And this is one of the reasons this, these videos are going to help you start your business because it's going to give you preparatory steps, situations and strategies for you to start your business in a manner that makes sense for you to become a solid seasoned business owner. Because one of the things that you have to do, and we're going to be talking about this in upcoming videos, is you're going to have to prep yourself for the business before you start the business. So what I want you to do, number one, watch this video three to five times. Number two, subscribe. Number three, hit the bell notification. And number four, keep coming back because I'm gonna keep posting helpful, quantitative, informational videos to help you launch your business. So this is, my name is Glendon Cameron, and I'll be seeing you in the future.